Hey everyone, welcome back to your maths class. Students, in previous classes, we have completed exercise 5a and 5b. Now, in today's class, let's start with the exercise 5c. In exercise 5c, we have some questions based on the scientific notations. So, first you need to understand what is scientific notation. This also I have explained to you in introduction video. Let's just recall it. So, in scientific notation, we write the number as a product of two numbers. Right? Product of two numbers likhte hain in which one number is greater than 1 and less than 10. The first factor should be greater than 1 and less than 10 and second should be the power of 10. Like 2 multiply 10 raised to the power 2. This is the scientific notation. But if I write 12 multiply 10 raised to the power 2, this is not the scientific notation. Why? Because this 12 is greater than 10. And as I said, in scientific notation, we write the number as a product of a number between 1 and 10 and the power of 10. Clear? So the first question is, is the number written in scientific notation? Write yes or no. We check karna hai kya ye scientific notation mein given hai. In first part, this is 24. As I said, in scientific notation, we write the number as the product of a number between 1 and 10 and the power of 10. This is greater than 10. Ye 1 or 10 ke beech mein line nahi karta. So this is not in the scientific notation. Right? Next, second part. This is between 1 and 10. Right? And this is the power of 10. So this is the product of a number between 1 and 10 and the power of 10. So this is in the scientific notation. Next and third part, this is the number between 1 and 10, but this is not the power of 10. Ye power ki, 10 ki power to nahi hai, ye to 5 ki power hai. So, this is not the scientific notation. Clear? Next question, question number 2, complete. First part is they have given 54 millions and they are asking to write it into the scientific notation. Now you know in scientific notation we write the number as a product of a number between 1 and 10. So this is they have written 5.4. 5.4 likha hai because 1 and 10 ke mid mein hona chahiye. Now we have decimal here. And how many digits we are moving to the right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have to multiply by the 10 raised to the power 7. Now in 9.8 decimal is here. So how many places we are moving decimal? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we will multiply 9.8 by the 10 raised to the power 11. Clear? Next write in scientific notation. Scientific notation means the product of two numbers in which first number is between 1 and 10 and second is the power of 10. So first number will be 8. First number hum kya lik dete hain? 8. Now 8 means 8.0 is equal hai. So it means we will move decimal to the right. How many places? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 multiply 10 raised to the power 6. This is the scientific notation. Similarly, to write this into the scientific notation, you have to put decimal here. Why? Because number should be between 1 and 10. If you will put decimal here, it will become 80, which will not work because 10 se less hona chahiye. So, we are putting decimal here after 8. 8.04. Clear? After if we will write 0, it doesn't make any change. So, no need to write them. Clear? Now, we have decimal here and we want to move it. How many digits we have after decimal? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, we will multiply it by 
10 raised to the power 9. Clear? Now in this again, if we write it as 1.6, 1.6 according we have decimal here. So how many place we have to move to the right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So you will multiply it by 10 raised to the power 9. Clear? This was in kilometers. So write your answer in kilometers. Next question, question number 4. Write the number in expanded form. This is just opposite to the previous question. Previous question me kya given tha? Expanded form given tha and they were asking to write in the scientific notation. Now they have given in scientific notation and they are asking to write in the expanded form. So let's expand it. 8.9 multiply 10 raised to the power 7 means 10 multiply 10 multiply 10 multiply 10 multiply how many times 7 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 which is equals to 8.9 multiply 1 1 is a 1 how many zeros will be there 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 now firstly Simply multiply them without decimal. Bina decimal ke multiply karte hai. 89 wins are 89. And then 7, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now there was only one decimal place. After decimal there was only one digit. So you will put decimal before one digit. Right here. And if you have just 0 after decimal. It doesn't make any change, so you can remove it too. Aap isko remove bhi kar sakte hai. So this is your answer. Next, the diameter of Saturn's largest ring is about 4.8 multiply 10 raised to the power 5 kilometers. 10 raised to the power 5 means 10 multiply 10 multiply 10 multiply 10 multiply 10. Multiply 10. When you will multiply them, you will get 1 and 5 zeros. Jitni power hoti hai, utni hi zeros aa jati hai. In short, agar aap samjhe to. So, this is equals to 4.8 multiply 1 and then 5 zeros because power is 5. And this is in kilometer. Now, simply multiply them without decimal. Pehle bina decimal ke multiply kar dete hai. 48 ones are 48. And then 5 zeros. Clear? Now, in this number, there was one decimal place. One decimal place tha na, to aap kya karenge? One digit se pehle hi decimal put kar denge. Yaha par bhi one decimal place hi hoga. So this, so this is equals to 4800000. Why? Because after decimal, if you have just zero, it doesn't make any change. So this is 480,000 kilometers or you can say 480,000 kilometers. Right? So this is your answer. So students, in today's class, we have discussed from question number 1 to question number 4 of exercise 5C. I have left some parts. Remaining parts you will practice yourself. In next class, we will start the next chapter, chapter number 6. Till then, keep doing practice and be safe at your home. Thank you. Have a good day.